okay so today i'll be telling you about morphing morphing is about sticking someone else's face on someone else's body it is, it is something very common and very widely used people are always asking me i mean how to you know um, put someone else's face on a totally entirely different body okay so i'll be telling you about morphing <coughs> first of all there are, are you have to be you have to have at least two images so i have this one image of angelina jolie and the other image of scarlett johansson both are my favorites anyways <coughs> now while looking at these photos uh, first of all what is obvious is that you know whenever you are choosing two photographs make sure that they are in the same direction the faces are you know in the same direction or they are in the opposite direction so that you can flip at least the face or at least any one of them <clears throat> the other thing is you have to make sure that the lighting on both the uh, both the faces is almost similar almost similar because if there are minor changes then you can make them yourself and the third thing is make sure that the quality of both the images is comparable okay so what i'm going to do now is that uh, i'm going to take angelina's face and i'm going to put it on scarlett johansson's body okay so first of all <coughs> i will take the polygon laser tool i just it just feather to at least 5 that will give me a margin and i'll start off by selecting the area around the face i will also be selecting some part of a hair now that helps because when you're putting it on the body then the hair helps in you know blending with the hairstyle of the other body okay so <clears throat> now here we have angelina's uh, face on scarlet's body i'm going to enlarge this image <clears throat> zoom it a little yeah now first of all we have now the first thing comes up is that we have to adjust the size and <clears throat> the position of angelina's face so i'm just going to reduce the opacity of angelina's face now i'm going to first of all i'm going to set the angle now if you align the nose nose of both the uh, both people then it greatly helps in aligning the angle of the face because there are there's a chin there is a nose so you have to you know okay now see we have almost got a good match here <coughs> the forehead is matching the forehead the eyes are matching the eyes the nose is not matching though and the chin is also not matching i think we need to enlarge it a little bit more yeah, i think this will do yeah this will do i think yeah i think that's perfect okay so that's all about the positioning and the sizing now here we have the face and that's the body now the next step is to get rid of all these all the colors all the backgrounds 
of angry space okay so i'm going to take the polygon lasso tool i'm going to reduce mm, the feather to 2 pixels now i'm going to zoom it and here i will start with the Now I won't be keeping any any gaps. I'll try that the gaps are to the minimum because <coughs> that will just reduce you know the chances of you know making it look natural. So. have to do this selection perfectly think you have to be very careful with the curves you know you can't afford to make a mistake there The more segments you have, you know, the better it is. Just taking her neck also, I'm just selecting that area as well. Just because I think that might help us. Delete that area. Okay. Okay, this we have now. Now, <clears throat> now what you have to do is get rid of these here. So I'm going to use the eraser tool. I think this will help here a little. Okay, so now that we have got rid of Angie's hair, hair. so I'm going to take, <clears throat> now we see here that the nose here and the lips here are still visible. Now we have to get rid of that as well. So <clears throat> I'm going to switch off this layer, I'm going to select this layer. Now we have to create some effects just to reduce this much of hair. I'm just going to take the stamp tool. I'm going to trace this portion here. Just to give it a little more thickness to it. Okay. So uh, by doing this, we are selecting that area which is very much near to, you know, To the part where we already have these here so by that what we are doing is we are keeping the light constant the angle of light constant and the texture of that portion constant so that actually helps uh, so we see that we still have to do some work here so yeah, I think this will do. Okay. 
think we need to do some chin work here so I'll take this black yeah I think this blends perfectly yeah that's good some chin work here as well perfect okay so now that is a very you know that is something very rough what we have done as you can see that there's the forehead popping up a little now we have two options we can either erase it or liquefy it and you know push the layers in I'm going to, to use you know I'm going to use both of them I'm going to erase it just to give it an even tone I'm also going to liquefy this layer into it well, I would say I would smudge it. Um, I, you have to keep the hardness, you know, high. And with very slow marks, we'll have to, you know, Okay, I think we will go with the liquify tool. We'll use liquify for this part portion of her face. Yeah. I'm just going to stick it a little closer. that will do yeah it is come exactly blended with the original forehead okay so this is something very much closer to what we need okay this is not what we need it is very close to what we actually need so now <clears throat> I'm going to use the eraser tool again Now we're trying to blend the neck area. Yeah, that looks good. You can still use some finishing touches here. Yeah, I think that will. That will do, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so here we have an image where you have Angelina's face stuck on Scarlett's body. Now, we have one more step left and that is color correction. Now for color correction, I will just add one more layer. I will select the paint bucket tool. I will select what color uh, any color I guess blue yeah I think that will do I'll just put this on this layer now another step I'm going to duplicate these both the both these image layers I'll drag this layer up I'll switch these two layers off I'll select these two layers and I'll merge them now we'll be selecting color modes of this colored layer and I am mostly opt for overlay I'll reduce the opacity 63% yeah and just to give it a you know uniform color we have we use color correction and I think that's it we have Angelina's body I mean Angelina's face on Scarlett's body thank you